The Chicago Pedway is where thousands of commuters go to get out of the cold. It's supposed to be for everyone. But two investigator Dave Savini found the Pedway is not always accessible for the disabled and can even be dangerous. His findings are already leading to important changes. Here's Dave. In a wheelchair, George Flores fights his way through the Pedway. One of numerous doors and elevators we found along five miles of Chicago's multi-million dollar underground Pedway system that are broken. No, I got it, Dave. Let me try. Or not equally accessible for people with disabilities. Nothing. No button. It's not working? No. So you can't get through here. You no. can't get out of this out yeah, of the Pedway. I be able to. The Pedway, built with tax dollars and private money in 1989, is supposed to help pedestrians stay warm and dry while commuting through the city's central business district. It's lined with stores and restaurants and connects Metro's South Shore line, as well as CTA's blue and red lines, 50 different buildings. Door busted? Yeah, didn't want to open. But from City Hall and the state of Illinois building and all the way to the Millennium train station, we found problems. Sir, that door wasn't working for you? No. So you can't get through to City Hall? No, I mean, this is... There's no getting through uh, swinging doors like this. So I have to physically open this. Yeah, and that's going to be way too heavy for somebody to do independently from a wheelchair. The two investigators showed our findings to Barry Taylor with Equip for Equality, a legal advocacy organization fighting for disability rights. People with disabilities should be able to access the Pedway just like anybody else. It's important, especially right now when it's really cold outside. Taylor used a pressure gauge showing at least 20 doors were in violation of ADA rules for being too heavy to open, forcing Flores and others like this man into the cold. Have you ever tried to use the pedway? Yeah. Yeah. It's bad because of the doors. I'm going to go flying headfirst down that ramp. And there are dangers like this sunken surface with hazardous cracks. These holes right by the ramp and elevator are just an accident waiting to happen. They're an accident, a lawsuit waiting to happen. We also found elevators broken. This CTA Redline one didn't get fixed until we asked about it. Hello, I'm trying to get down to your Pedway system. And this Pedway elevator by Macy's reeked of urine and was broken repeatedly for months. The elevator's stuck and the doors won't open. But no one ever responded to his emergency call. It's really disappointing that people with disabilities can't use this resource. Oh, okay. We reached out to numerous agencies and private companies for comment. The elevator by Macy's is not Macy's responsibility. It is the City of De uh, Department of Transportation's responsibility to manage the Pedway. A spokesperson there says they are conducting assessments for long-term improvements. Meetings are being held next week about upgrading the Pedway for everyone, including people with disabilities, but that could take a long time, and these people need to have those doors working right away. Right, they can't even function on a regular basis without, it's gotta be frustrating. Those push doors are impossible to open. So they're thinking long term, but they have no solution for the short term issues that are facing. No, and they're not giving, you know, they ha they're starting to try to fix some of the mm -hmm. things I exposed, but the doors, those have to be replaced. Yeah, yeah no doubt. All right, thanks. thanks. Appreciate it.